Why do we pay such a high amount on our standing charges for gas and electricity in this country? My standing charge for electricity here in the North East is going up as of April 2024 from 55 pence to 69 pence per day. That's more than a 25% increase overnight and equates to £250 across the year. And if we add the gas standing charge on there as well, that equates to £357 before we even switch the light switch on or turn the heating up a notch. And all this means that even though the unit price is coming down, my actual bill personally is going up as of April 2024. And personally, I think this charge is becoming ridiculous as it punishes the most vulnerable, those that are struggling to pay the bills the most, and provides no incentive to reduce electricity usage at all. In this video, I'm going to be looking at why we actually pay a standing charge, why it's gone up so much, and what FGEM are doing to potentially change it. Stay tuned to find out more. Hi everyone, I'm Danny V Solar, and on this channel you can follow my journey all things EVs, renewables, energy tariffs, solar panels and much more. Please hit the like button if you find this video useful and make sure you subscribe to my channel as well so you can follow me on my journey. This week I'll be looking at standing charges in more details. As of April my bill is actually going up overall even though the unit price is coming down. Now I know some people's standing charges have actually gone down meaning the bills have gone down quite significantly overall. Let me know in the comments whether your standing charge and your bills have gone up or down. I'm really interested to see how it fares with mine. So first let's start by looking at why we actually pay standing charge at all. And this is determined by a regulator called Ofgem and they manage the maximum amount that energy providers can charge customers and energy suppliers such as British Gas and Octopus cannot charge above this rate. Ofgem state that the standing charge is a daily charge that you pay your energy supplier each day to cover fixed costs of providing gas and electricity regardless of how much energy you actually use. The standing charge is used to recover the costs required to provide energy company services, including providing and maintaining the wires, pipes and cables that deliver power to a customer's door, through to the staff and buildings required for the energy business to function. During the energy crisis, standing charges were also used to cover the debts for companies that went bust, and if you remember, there was a lot of those during the energy crisis. Martin Lewis from Money Saving Expert also recently posted on social media as well, stating... Standing charges, I know they drive many of you up the wall. I believe they're an unfair energy poll tax and a moral hazard that disincentivizes people from cutting bills. And I completely agree. Now, you might say that the energy guy on YouTube with solar panels that imports less electricity than the average user might say this, but at least if the charge was added to the unit rate for gas and electricity, people are actually incentivized to use less electricity that way. This might also incentivize them to improve their insulation in the house, for example, switch to LED bulbs and save money that way on the energy bills. And this way, the planet wins as well. And as it is, everyone's stuck paying this charge, no matter how much gas or electricity they use, and just for being connected to the grid. Now, thanks in part to Martin's great work on this, Ofgem are actually reviewing the standing charges and the way that they are charged, and are looking at ways to make this a fairer charge overall for everyone, which is great news. Ofgem state though that they are worried that if the charges are added onto the unit rate this will punish customers that have to use a lot of electricity for medical reasons for example or have an inefficient electric heating system installed in their home. Martin suggests that a way around this would be to means test customers and again I think that makes a lot of sense. Those that can cut their electricity and gas usage are incentivized to do so and those that can't aren't punished. We should hear the outcome of the review at some point this year so fingers crossed that it works out a fairer system for everyone. You might also notice that the standing charge that you pay varies per region and this is down to different costs required to supply electricity to a particular region. So if there's a high amount of power generation close to a home then they're likely to pay less on their standing charge whereas somebody in the country or away from a power station is likely to pay more. On the plus side though average energy prices are decreasing from April 2024 so hopefully that can save you some money overall. I've got the April prices on the screen now so you can see how they vary from quarter one of 2024. And these prices here are part of the price cap that is reviewed every three months by Ofgem. And as of April 2024, the average daily standing charge is around 60.1 pence for electricity. But this varies from 40 pence in London to 71 pence in the Northeast, typically. It also depends on how you pay for your energy as well whether that's by direct debit or by other means. So check out the link in the description for more information on the regional pricing for where you live. 
Your supplier may also choose to charge lower than this cost too if they want. As I mentioned, Octopus are charging me 69 pence in the northeast instead of the 71 pence that they could have done. Speaking of Octopus, if you would like to sign up with them for one of the great smart tariffs, it would be great if you could use the referral code listed on screen now and in the description below. If you use this code, you get £50 added to your account when you join Octopus, and I also get £50 as well, which really helps to support the channel. The tariffs offered by Octopus, such as a tracker tariff, offer a clever method of potentially saving you money by tracking wholesale rates of energy, and if you have an EV for example, Octopus has a different tariff that costs just 7.5 pence per kilowatt hour used overnight to charge your EV as of April 2024, and that makes EV motoring dirt cheap if you can charge at home. Make sure you watch some of my other videos where I talk about these other tariffs in much more detail and hopefully you can save some money by signing up as well. And while you're there, why not subscribe to my channel to follow my journey as well. Anyway, overall, I think the fact that these charges are getting reviewed is a good step forward and hopefully the outcome is a system which incentivizes everyone to use less gas and electricity and doesn't punish those that are most vulnerable. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.